Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. Welcome back to Chrono Engine ABS Mode Tutorial Part 11. And this time I'm going to create a boss. And this is the boss I'll just create today. And now let's just have a look what is the boss. Well, actually the boss is the same as the enemy, but give the boss a lot of skills. Not just only one skill. As you can see now, the boss has triggered three different skills. And now, uh, let's wait for the fourth one. Uh, just give me the fourth one. Okay, this is the fourth one. And as you can see, when I press bottom key, the player would teleport randomly. Now, uh, this is because. And now later I'll show you what I have done, but I guess the player has teleported to somewhere I can't see. Okay, that's not important. Now let's just have a look at the boss. Okay, at first I've created a new enemy, and the enemy ID is 5, and that is not important. What is important is inside the root. So let's just have a look at it. And inside the root, this one is new, and this is what, how I create this boss. And this is the random switch. So when you got this script, you randomly pick one switch ID over here. If you want to add, just add a comma, and then place the switch you want to use, and I just use 4, so just keep it as 4. So later if you trigger 11, and you'll turn off 12, 13, and 14. And if you trigger 12, then you'll turn off the other 3. And this is how this works. And now let's just take a look at this extra 4 pages over here. And inside each pages, the condition is different switch. So when you add the first pages and you trigger some switches and then it will trigger this different pages. And inside different pages there will be different attack, different skills the bows will use. So at here, the second pages, you will trigger these action six. Well, this means it will trigger the 2 ID6. And what is 2 ID6? It was sounder. And remember to put this inside at the end of your route. So you randomly pick up a switch again. So you could trigger different skills or the same one. And this one thing you need to remember it was Remember the checklist, repeat movement. So when the random switch pick up the same switch, like 11 over here, so you'll run this again. If you didn't do this, your boss will just stop there and do nothing. Okay, now let's just take a look at the other three pages. And inside page 3, the boss will trigger this action 7, that is 2 ID 7, and this is the random shot. And inside the random shot, I've made it just move toward to player. So, when the boss is using this skill, it not just stop there, it just keep moving to player and hitting me. And to use this, there's one thing you need to remember. So let's just check this tool map. And this is the random shot I use. And inside here, there used to be a pose duration. I guess it was between these two. They used to have a pose duration. And you just did it, that one. So when you use the skill, your player or the enemy could move. If you got post duration, you just keep there and stop there doing nothing. So now let's back to 
our bows again and now this time is page 4 and let's just have a look at the route so inside here I'll trigger this action 8 that is 2 ID 8 and 2 ID 8 it was it was this random bomb okay forget about the name I didn't I didn't do the name okay so this is the random bomb and then the last one the page 5 inside here I create a new a new skill and this is the 2 ID 10 and also remember to put the random switch over here at the end of the route and remember to check this checkbox repeat movement and then you got a bows the bows got different four skills to use and you randomly choose the skill to use and now let's just have a look at this new skill and inside the new skill I just name it okay name it shining bird I guess because this is really a shining bird and this time I use the skill and also there is two things I guess it was new the first one it was this it was two old direction well when you shoot just like this fireball when you shoot the fireball there will ju just be one simple fireball over there and if you got this old directions that means there will be eight birds shooting when you use this skill this eight bird will fly toward different eight direction and there you can see and also I got this a uh, cased animation and the reason to use this is because so you don't need to use the same case the animation is just right inside the plugin command the parameters over here well let's just have a look the case the animation well you can choose this default one and now I've made it 120 and if you want to have a different case the animation when you use different skill then you just add this case animation ID so you could use different case animation and inside here there is nothing special just one step forward so your bird will just keep flying forward not just step there and now let's just look at the database and inside the database this time I'm going to use Yamfly's button common event so later I'll let you see this and first let's just have a look at the skill the first it was the shining bird I just create well nothing new over here just remember to connect to your tool ID and I'm going to have the case animation so just put the speed over here and then later it was the new enemy I've named this enemy both uh, image is not really important so just forget about that and I don't want my enemy to have the knockback so I disable knockback and then later it was the common event do you remember what I've just used when I press T well the player will just teleport everywhere well actually it was randomly teleport and this is because I use this well inside this common event 8 I've put this player set root and it will teleport random 5 so when I press the T bottom the player will just teleport randomly well you start from the player and count 5 to the left to the right, to the top, to the bottom so you randomly teleport inside a rectangle of 
eleven times eleven. And I connect this common event to common event. Well, I mean the bottom, the bottom T in your keyboard. And also, I've add some skills over here. So when I hit the bottom one to four in your keyboard, you'll trigger the action nine, action seven, action three, and action two. And let me just have a look. So I connect this to bottom one, bottom two, bottom three, bottom four. So when I hit bottom one, you'll trigger this one. This is the freeze. And when I hit the bottom two, you'll trigger, you'll trigger this, the random shot. And when I press the bottom three, you'll trigger this bomb. And when I hit the bottom four, you'll trigger this arrow. And since arrow and bomb will cost items, so I've gave the player some arrows and bombs over here. So you have a bows, and you have skills, and let's just take a look at the bottom common event. In the bottom common event, by Yen Fly, you just connect your common event, put the common event ID over inside the volume. So when you hit the key one, you'll trigger the common event six. When you hit key two, you'll trigger common event seven. And actually, this is not the plug-in of the ABS mode, but I think this is quite useful. And also, when you hit the key T, and I'll teleport, and this is the common event eight. So with all of this. You got an amazing boss that will use four different kind of skill, and the player can teleport. And also, you can shoot this boss. Use the freeze, so the boss will freeze. Also, I can use. I can also use the enemy shot. And this is the shot. And using and this kind of boat to use the enemy shot as well. Okay. And I guess this is the end of this two. And if you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much.